items that would mean something to we've had it's been mostly discussion but we're going to see items now a lot of cases so i assume we're looking at video yes we are. Ha what happened here this is the uh the film and video library for all the participating districts and i would say that we probably have here anywhere from eight to nine thousand uh, videotapes on k through 12 curriculum anywhere from learning how to spell up to showing uh, animatronics of plate tectonics and how, how mm -hmm. the earth shifts like mm -hmm. that. All subject matter. Um, we have approximately eight to 9,000 of these. <coughs> Excuse me. We also have over here, oh, probably one to 2,000 old 16 millimeter films. Now, obviously, we're kind of phasing those out yeah. because yep. a lot of the schools aren't using the 16 millimeter projectors anymore, and they're they're opting for the uh, the videos. But we still have a good collection of those. We are phasing them out, though. Do you have any duplicates where you have one of these and you also have it on video? Absolutely. Both. You have both. Absolutely. All right. For instance, right here. Here is a uh, shaping of the American nation, the history. Uh, this is uh, what is this? And maybe a couple ha couple hours on here. That could be. Do the schools have anything in their libraries, any of these themselves, or they would stay there on a permanent basis? It's it's possible that they could, and we do have a uh, an on-site collection that we take and we put in the schools and we house them oh, for a short do. period okay. of time. Right, and they they circulate. Different absolutely, schools? Okay. absolutely. But um, basically, um, every teacher in every school that participates in in um, this activity gets a full catalog of every videotape and every 16 millimeter film that we have. So those teachers schedule ahead of time, two or three days, mm -hmm. that they wanted to take out that one on the nation there. Right. Do you have any duplicates where one is so popular? That Absolutely. You do have that? Absolutely. Huh? Okay. And do uh, you have much damage with these? Not really. Not really. You know, Sometimes we have to replace because uh, it breaks, but we can we can repair those right here on the well, side. I was going to say, either here Absolutely. or you can go right over to the other building yes. over there. Yes. And then they work. And what happens is uh, when, when the teacher uh, schedules the piece of media, whether it's the film or, or the video, uh, we have a mailbag system back here. Okay. Okay. And if, say, you were from uh, <coughs> Northern Adirondack and you wanted that film on the nation, uh, you would schedule it ahead of time. Mm -hmm. We would pick it out. We would schedule it in the computer. We would pick it out. And then the day before you wanted it, we would put it in the mailbag. Okay. Now, tell us about these mailbags. What, what do you mean, This mailbag? is what we call our, our mailbag courier system. And each school that participates in the program has a mailbag. Actually, they have two. Uh, and each bus driver comes in in the morning, takes the empty mailbag that he brought up yesterday with the media, puts it here, and takes the one that has the stuff in it for today and brings it back. So it's an ongoing okay. thing. The bus driver who brought the the students absolutely to the schools when we were talking the other day uh, uh, you know with mr. French in here uh, mr. Frank rather he mentioned that they send somebody down to pick them up and that you don't deliver them I never thought of it he didn't mention the school but they're here anyway it works like a charm works like a it charm. really does and it's, it's surprising um, so many other bosses use the same uh, system mm -hmm. do they it pick works great would they pick it up at night before they go or do they get it the next mm, morning there are some schools some that come twice a day okay. once in the morning and yeah. once in the afternoon but uh, this is all it takes yeah. to schedule and distribute all of this media. Did you invent this when you came here? Absolutely not. Okay. This was here. This was here in Rome. You had an opportunity. I didn't even dust it off. <laughs> you had Although an opportunity we did put to put up new shelves. I, uh, that's great. That's yeah, great, it, it, great it's, it's idea. Great. Oh yeah, great. so easy. Okay, that was it. Plus, the teacher can send something to another teacher. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. There is kind of an interesting. Okay, so that if NCCS wanted, you don't want to talk about that. Not really. Okay, you don't want more of that, in other words. <laughs> mm, no. Okay, you got the. I guess maybe you. Uh, would, that's it's a good it's a good feature. Okay, it goes between schools. Okay, uh, and there's a different name. And I question the other day I asked, where is the Yandun, Yandun Dillon Educational Center, and I said Dillon's Education. Didn't know what I was talking about. Someone said, you mean the Yandun? And that's the facility in Mineville, Absolutely. the counterpart of here. Because right. there are two facilities in this district, district region that they have. All right. Anything else that we should know in here? Uh, down here, I would like to talk about a couple okay. other uh, things that we do out of this department. All right. You have to maintain a certain uh, 
temperature in here? Not too warm or anything uh, like that? No? It's warm enough for us. It's okay. warm enough for the All media. Right. We also have an area here where we, um, we uh, tape off air for uh, teachers. Uh, primarily uh, programming off of the educational channels, mm -hmm. channel 57, channel 33. Um, we probably have 16 sets of VCRs and 16 TVs, and uh, we use them all every day. Uh-huh. Interesting. Great setup here. Uh, we also do laminating for schools. Oh, on top of pictures or... Uh, That's right. Ah, posters card. and that kind posters, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, teaching material. Wow, look at the size of that, yeah. And, uh, and another... Uh, brand new feature that we have here is that we just installed the satellite dish. We saw it outside and I think Mr. Brand Frank, new. French, uh, Frank mentioned that before. Brand new. We put it up probably three months ago and that allows us to download satellite programming, specifically teleconferencing, mm -hmm. New York State teleconferences. Mm -hmm. We didn't, never had access to that before. We can now download that stuff, tape it, mm -hmm. and provide that to all of our superintendents. Yeah. You don't have a lot of space left there. Of course, when you get rid of these, you'll have another set over there, right? That That's right, but it's a slow process. And yeah, we're getting very, very tight. Uh-huh. Makes it great. Now, over here, Chris, this is a thing of the past. So this is, this is kind be, of a relic. Yeah, this is a relic right here. You Tell don't us. see anybody sitting here. No, see anybody. Saw, see somebody <laughs> in pictures. <laughs> this is a, what I would call a, a 16 millimeter uh, repair station. Mm -hmm. And like I say, we're phasing the uh, the 60 millimeter out. There's not that much call for it, so we don't use it that much. Right. Does can any public institution borrow it from you, other than a school no. system? No. Okay. No. Did you have quick? to participate in our okay. service. Okay. In order to be available. I o I always uh, make an analogy. Uh, our service is kind of like a banquet. Okay. You pay three dollars to go in on Sunday morning and, ha and participate in the banquet. Um, and your wife pays three dollars and because you paid that three dollars you've got this great big okay. banquet of food all of this food but then you can't let somebody else just walk in and say well can I eat for right. free right. Well, you, wait a minute I paid three dollars you got a good memory too at three dollars <laughs> <laughs> you have a really good memory <laughs> a good restaurant, <laughs> a good restaurant. Yeah. what happens to the films when you get rid of them do you sell them do they go back to a state system or there, there's a couple ways of doing it um, yeah, they can kick back into the system, or we can uh, we can let the schools know which ones we're getting rid of, and, and if anybody's interested, they can okay. uh, help themselves. Okay. All right, that pretty well covers in here, I guess, and this is very visual. We had a very visual this morning. And in here? There's a lot to see. Well, we, we, we certainly know about videotapes and recorders and TVs. That's right <laughs> up the alley, isn't it, Calvin? But well, don't you wish you had that kind of space? <laughs> Where you could set up like that. Calvin's so, probably jealous. Well, you know, sometimes uh, you have to put them on the floor and get on your hands and knees because the shelves are all taken, you know, and whatever. No, it's a good space. It is great. We're moving into the other important division, the printing and duplicating department. And before we go in and actually see the, the facility, uh, this is an example of some of your work that you do. Yes, it is. <coughs> Did you know that the posters that we had when we had South Pacific and whatever in, uh, in Champlain was done right here? Look at just coming up. We'll be talking with these people within the next week, uh, 14th, 15th, and 16th, Fiddler on the Roof right. at Shays East Central School Auditorium. There's a Plattsburgh High School commencement exercises. You do the programs for the various uh, yes, we do. exercises? Yes, we do. This is a, this is a good... Uh, representation of the vast majority of printing that we mm -hmm. do for all the 17 mm -hmm. school districts. Like this too? Uh, you did that? You do the one for NCCS on that? Do you remember? Sure. You did that great sure. big one there? Yeah. We do everything from posters to commencement programs to hallway passes. Yeah. Now does Peru know that you've got an apple on the <coughs> Saranac Central School? Oh yeah. They know that. Sure. All right. Because you've got to talk <laughs> to those Peru people. But, and and Shazy too, by the way, you know. But that's the type of thing you do. Right. All right. Uh, how do you develop this? Is it, they, they tell you what they want, or do you, do you design it for Good them? Good question. Yep. Good question. We work with the customer or the client. Uh, some of the schools uh, send us camera-ready art, but most of them do not, and they rely on us to develop the, uh, the artwork. And that's why we have uh, a desktop publishing uh, area okay. as part of the printing and, and duplicating department. When I came on board uh, five years ago, 
I was called upon to do the, the, uh, all of the desktop publishing. So in my office, you'll see uh, a large screen uh, Macintosh uh, with CD-ROM uh, and a scanner. And primarily, you know, that, that, that's what I did. Um, the, the service has, has blossomed and grown so much that I've had to augment and add another person to help me out because I just couldn't handle it you all. couldn't handle it all. <laughs> so I've got another station right out here yeah. uh, with a lady working. Can she it. handle it? Is she doing more? I taught her, and now she knows more than I do. Can I speak to her? You think? I think you probably could. Think, could we speak with this lady? Hi, my name is Bob Venn, and your name? Diane Dara. Diane, it's all right out in front there. Yes, Diane. Uh, how long have you been here? Oh, twenty-five years. <laughs> That's right. Twenty-five. Not doing this though. No. no. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> You've been with the system for twenty-five. You must yes. be the the. Uh, I don't want to say oldest now. I'm going to say the, the, nobody, uh, that's one with 26 years, I think. Oh, here. yeah. Um, there's Atchison, a maybe, uh, 23 or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. But not many. You're right there. So are you taking more and more of this away from uh, Mike in the other room, doing it yourself here? I'm helping him out. You're helping him out, huh? taught me a lot. Did you ever do this before you, before right no, here? No, not at all. Is it enjoyable? Oh, it's you can see what you what you make. It's like making a yeah, painting or something, sure. isn't it? Huh? Yeah, it's very exciting. Okay. I don't see it. any family pictures around here. Oh yes, I do. Look right at here. here. Oh look, look oh. right here. <laughs> what are their names? Tell us. Um, Melissa and Danielle. Where do they go to school? Um, Melissa's a junior at Saranac High School, uh -huh. and Danielle goes to Plattsburgh State. She's a senior. Okay. Did they play ball in those great Saranac yes, teams? Yes, Missy. Um, she pitches for the Adirondack Diamonds. Okay. Yeah, oh, she's yes. She's doing well. Okay. Were you, were you in athletics like that, too? No, they I weren't wasn't. as many back then, no, either. Girls, no. ladies <laughs> weren't into it then. All right. Uh, anything else that you can tell us? I, I just don't know much about this. Do you, de do you design it for them? They tell you if they want something, or do they give you an idea what they want? Yeah. Um, we give them suggestions, and then <coughs> we'll, we'll send them back our suggestions mm -hmm. and then they can um, tell us if they like it or we can work from there. Huh? Do you get a chance to put on the bottom corner DD so that in <laughs> forever people would know that it's D Diane Dara? I think that that's important, you know, that you design. <laughs> We've got an emblem for you have. Uh, okay. the office. Right, then you ought to have it, whatever it says, and you ought to have a little place where you could circle the D. That means that D did it or M for Michael did it. Thank you <laughs> okay. very much. Thank you. All right. Uh, anything else on the on the board you want to show us? Did you do this too? No, I did not. Okay, that's something else. All right. There's the the educational service. We'll go along into the printing shop then and duplicating. You said very good. Okay. Just as a woman can do a lot of things on a little sewing machine, they can develop all kinds of things. You have the same thing going on in here. And this is your printer right here. Yes. This is uh, this is our printing operation right here. This is offset. Yeah, so offset printing. Okay. This uh, this here is a, a plate making camera. Okay, take a picture of the artwork and make a plate on it so that it can go on the printing press. Uh, and you can see that uh, I have two offset printing presses. Okay. Along with two photocopiers. Okay. And the two ladies that I have in here uh, can run both at the same time. Our right. production is phenomenal. We probably, well, I know that last year, that this print shop right here with these two ladies printed five million sheets of paper. Oh my God. If you lay those five million sheets of paper end to end out this door, they would go past Myrtle Beach. That's a lot of paper. Getting down there where you, uh, where no, I wish I was. Where you, were, where you were, where you came, but no, you were from Florida. Now, do you do color separation? Do you have those done outside? No, no. We have very little color work other than do, spot color. Okay. You might, might want Two a little colors. piece of color okay. on your letterhead. But no, right. no four color separations. Okay. Uh, but it's a full service print shop. We do everything. Oh, well, yeah. You want to take Terrific. a walk down Yeah, here? we'll take a walk down. Because okay. i got to take a picture here, right here. we got to get a picture of the, of the motorcycle man. Because this man in this... We were talking with Mr. Frank. Uh, last week. This is his son. He told us he had a son in uh, Los Angeles, uh, in Hollywood area, and then he, he does uh, modeling and uh, ads, and there he is right there. That's his son on a motorcycle. We don't know what he's doing in here, but uh, there he is anyway. Now, this is not his son. No. 
Okay, he wishes that, that was this his is job. your stitcher. This is the the binder stitcher, and what this machine here does is put together multi-page like programs, newsletters, anything with more than one page. Folds it in half, puts the stitch in it, off it comes. All right, when you say stitch, are you talking about uh, saddle stitching? Yes. Okay. Yes. Saddle stitching is a pamphlet like your Time magazine, any of the magazines where they're folded in half and you got two stitches in the middle. Uh, that's called saddle stitching. It's done right here. We made it. Look it. Multigraphic, that was done by uh, AM International, who are the present owners or were the owners of uh, Harris, who before that was Sheridan. That's you know, correct. Did That's you, know correct. Anything? you didn't mention that, Michael. No, I didn't. I forgot. But now, you're right. You're absolutely right. I understand right. they've been sold again. I think so. I think they've been sold. I think so. And that's who made it right there. We used to see the Sheridan name. Uh, and there's a lot of those machines been around for 70 to 100 years. Uh, the, and this was made by them. Don't know which division. Maybe in Dayton. Possibly, but, but they if it was a piece of Sheridan equipment, it probably wouldn't even fit in this building. Oh, yeah. They made oh, yeah. Big, they equipment. Make big equipment. Right. Okay, well, that's what we're talking about right here. Now, where did it do the stitching? Right right here? That's exactly but it right. It goes right over here. right there. These pages come up down a runway right here, get stitched right here, folded, and come out, and they're peeled off. Right right. There. Now, is this electric eye that don't let you put in extra pages? That's right. Well, you see that's right, right. right in here? This is electric eye that will give you the thickness. So if you need 36 sheets, or let's say 24, and it's got 25 or 23, it, it throws it out. Stops. Except, if you got two of page 12 and none of page 15, it will stitch it because it's still got the right, right. thick. That, you, you can still do that. All right, well this is a very efficient operation that you're telling me. It's fantastic. Uh, we, we put out an incredible amount of work out of this right. print shop. For, for two ladies. Yep. Now here is a, <coughs> no, it just folded, I beg your pardon. That is not a, that's strictly a signature. That's now, probably a newsletter. All right, now, this is a small guillotine. We've seen some big ones. That's right. One of the most frightening things I've ever seen because this shear comes down at an angle and go through paper this thick. That's correct. But you need two controls so that your fingers aren't in the middle of it. Good safety feature. Good safety feature. Yes. Okay. So basically, that that's our print shop. We do everything within the yep. confines here. Right. Right behind the door, I, I'm also I also find interesting because this is what I did at Customs. This is the way you make paper. Very quickly, you got the logs coming in. They go through a chipper or or a debarker. Sometimes you take the bark out. They go through the chipper. This is the way you make a, a sulfite sulfate goes into a digester, and it you never can see it after they're made out of little chips and they, they dissolve. The lignum that holds them together, they come in to the head box. There's another, there's another kind of pulper here. Comes in to mix together. This is where they make the 98% water and a very few chips when it hits this wire. It's called a food and air wire. Comes down through these press sections where it takes water out. Comes all the way down to when it comes down at the, at the very end. And then you take the rolls off and you can intermingle them or you can trim them. That's what the, all this paper comes from there. Now how is it that you know more about this than I do? I know paper. <laughs> That's why I find the printing press so uh, so interesting, you know? Right. I really do. And paper is a very, when you throw a piece of paper away, you don't realize what you're throwing away because you know, just to use a little bit of it, you say, ah, and you throw it away. Uh, a lot of work went into that. A lot of people had a job, you know, lots oh, of sure. things involved. Okay, look at this storage area. This is, is our warehouse out here, and it's primarily our paper storage for the print shop. What you see here is, is uh, the paper that we're storing that we'll probably go through in, in a short period of time. We're always bringing paper in to replace the paper that's going out. We have uh, storage for other parts of, of our operation here, but primarily it's, it's uh, storage for the print shop. So you don't keep anything that's finished for storage that goes right out? Absolutely, okay. sure. It goes right into that, that uh, mail courier system. Just right into there and right out with the... That, that printing yep. and duplicating goes right into the bags, right out to the school. What's your turnover? How far are you scheduled ahead here? Our turnover is fantastic. I would say that uh, we turn jobs over under a week. Is that right? Oh, and, yeah. and, and in many instances, two to three days. Many times when it takes longer than that is because these machines sometimes 
are set up 30 days in advance with work coming in. Oh, sure. And you just have to wait until all that other work gets out unless you've really gotten important and you're a very good customer. They might. We're very accommodating. Yeah. Do you have to have moisture control in here because with all this paper You know, storage? surprisingly, no. It does yeah, get right? a little chilly in here. Uh, but I thought but maybe, no. you know, moisture would make the paper right. curl or something. So there is storage for, yep. for other other uh, parts of our operation, but basically it's it's for the printing and duplicating. At five million sheets, you don't this don't last too long out oh here. Oh my goodness, this is nothing. Right. Now tell me, uh, who does the ordering of this? The ladies in here. They do that in addition to keep their yes, they inventory do. control. Yes, they do. Amazing, very they nice. Do, they do a fantastic. Job. Oh, and you got a door in the back where they come in, pick it up right at the Welcome back of the dock. building. Is that a loading dock? Yep. So this is a very, very efficient, and of course, this is right in your field, too. When you had the printing this is where business. my background is. Yes, so. of course. Yeah. You know, another another interesting thing uh, that I would want to say is that um, I described my background and the fact that I had worked for Harris Graphics. Well, here I am working uh, years later in a facility, and this was a Harris Graphics facility. This, this they was, use this? this? This whole entire building was used by Harris Graphics. Back in the 70s. That's why they So when you I'm here. in here, I feel like I've got uh, there's ghosts walking around yeah. in here. And you think they hired you here for your qualifications? <laughs> it was because you worked here. I knew where the men's room That's was. That's right. right. You knew where the men's You got it. <laughs> so I was just an interesting person. Uh, you know, uh, as we said before, you know, I'm a volunteer, and if I can't have fun in this, I'm not about to be <laughs> at the end of the mic. But uh, uh, Mike, too, Mike. Mike should have the mic. Uh, anything else we should see out here, Michael? I think you've seen everything. Can you step in and replace either one of those young ladies if they were out? Or no, something? I cannot. You can't, huh? No, I cannot. What do you do if one of them is off uh, ill for two or three days? They never get sick. They don't get sick. They like their job. They love their job. Probably afraid you're going to get replaced and that <laughs> someone can... <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll take another break. We're going to go on. Uh, we'll be here just a few more minutes. And we appreciate your tuning in. And I bet you what you're hearing today and yesterday and whenever I think well much this will be at one time it's all things that are happening at Champlain Valley Educational Services this is called instructional services the things that they can do here for our teachers and our uh, administration and, and for the students in the forms of the posters and uh, uh, the diplomas everything else is done right here uh, just outside of the city of Plattsburgh on the way to Marsonville <laughs> We've uh, made our tour. We've seen, I guess, all the people that we're going to see in the building. And we're back in uh, Dr. Frank's office, where you're going to just kind of thank you very much for the effort that you've done with us. Well, it was our pleasure having you. Uh, we just talked with uh, Teresa Adams and, uh, and Mike and uh, Kiernan, and that was a good interview this morning. Good. And uh, Calvin just mentioned something that I heard that you do not jump to conclusions at all, but you did jump to crossbars. What uh, in the world would they be talking about when they said that? I can't imagine. <laughs> no, I, you can imagine. Yes, you can. <laughs> I can't. Well, uh, years ago, I decided that uh, pole vaulting would be a lot of fun. Um, I was alone in that. There weren't many other folks I could convince <laughs> to... Uh, uh, to do it with me, but uh, so through uh, high school and college, uh, I was on I was a pole vaulter on the track mm -hmm. team, mm -hmm. and I think the reference that uh, that was made that that you encountered here was that uh, not too many years ago, uh, I participated in the Empire State Games and returned to that activity, got out the old pole and ran down the runway a few times and uh, actually vaulted. What did your wife say about when she heard you were going to try that? Uh, I, th <laughs> I think the word was crazy. <laughs> it might have been dumb. Uh, those kinds of references. When I was working and I we, we played a softball game in Plattsburgh, I was in the 40s, I guess. And, and I remember I went back and I, I had cracked a bone in my wrist and I had a little cast. And my supervisor, my boss, said, uh, Aren't you getting a little old for that? And I, I the way to say don't do that again that's because right, it's going right. to impede what you're well, doing. But I it's was true. very old for it. Uh, you notice the bones are not quite as strong as they uh, were before. They're you? certainly not as flexible. <laughs> as they they sure <laughs> aren't. Huh? That that goes with the uh, the territory, I yes. guess. All right. Well, pole vaulter. Yeah, but he didn't just 
beat Yeah, he did tell us that. See, I don't know whether he right. wants to mention that. Well, I, in the 50-year and older category, uh, I won the, uh, the gold medal. That's great. Yeah. Uh, and so it was a lot of fun. You we see, had a good time. You see, when, where, where did you go for that? Uh, uh, it was in the Empire State Games, and that competition was in Syracuse. Syracuse. You see, um, I forgot what I was going to tell you now. Uh, when you're a pole vaulter on a track team, it's like a catcher in baseball. Not so many people want to do it. And if you can do it fairly well, you can get on the team uh, easier than some other positions. You can even, you can even do it poorly. You can get on the team. <laughs> you <can do> <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice a big improvement from when you started to when you say you gradually get higher and higher? Is that experience? Uh, through college. Mm -hmm. But then uh, uh, when I competed in the Empire State Games, uh, actually my uh, my height was much lower than what I had done. Is that right? Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah. 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 How long ago was the Empire State Games? Uh, eight years. Eight years ago. You have to drag that out. I, 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 did I? He told me uh, how old he was before. Didn't I get that? Oh, guys. I think you already alluded to that with his one-room school. I don't know if we put that on TV. I think we did. No. Didn't do that with one-room school. Now this, and I, there's a lot to be said for the background and the one-room school and also brought up on a farm, right? Yes. And that got both of those things will teach you with the value of work. Uh, actually, I'm uh, I'm the one right by the bat, right here. Uh, one room school. We in took Illinois. this. There are eleven. There are eighteen students in this picture, and we took the picture eighteen times <laughs> and moved the bat so that we would be able to tell. Uh, which yeah, everybody had the bat. That's not true. Well. <laughs> you know, now you got to admit that we. Uh, you say, why would you say that? He's got to be proud of that picture. He wouldn't have it in his office in such a private oh, spot. He would have it on that wall where only he could see it. But, but he's very proud of it, and, and, and you should. If you haven't been to a one-room school, and most people haven't, uh, you, miss, you miss something, don't you? It was, it was a wonderful experience, and I am proud of that. Uh, that class uh, really distinguished itself because in the class there was a writer for Time magazine. Uh, one fellow there was a uh, uh, farmer of the year in the state of Illinois three times. Wow, three uh, times, wow. Another fellow there uh, was a triple A, uh, played baseball for the Yankees at the triple A level. Uh, so uh, from that, uh, from our uh, humble uh, uh, beginnings in, uh, in rural uh, Illinois, a lot of folks went on from that one room education to really be uh, productive people. And if you think one of those younger students looked like Babe Ruth, you're, you're wrong. That is not Babe Ruth era at all. No. no That's right. No, no. Uh, Although he might have still been playing at that. I don't <laughs> think so. We, we bring this up. I bring this up to show you the, the, the kind of people that you have here running. The, he is the director here of, director mm -hmm. of the uh, instructional services that there uh, it's not a name only. Uh, he, he's not the vice president but he is an all-around guy, and I think that's important. You, his door is always open, uh, I would assume. Uh, it's Absolutely. been open ever since that we've been by up and down, and there's 12 employees, up to 17 part-time. 17 with folks who come and go. We yes. met one of your come and go this morning with okay. Arm, Armin, uh, uh, Amanda Burt. Good. While she was typing, we talked with her just a little bit. Good. Uh, anything else before we leave, uh, Doctor, that you'd like no, to bring I'm, up well at all? I'm, uh, I'm glad that uh, we've had this opportunity to share with uh, with folks uh, in the North Country what we're all about. Uh, as you indicated in the beginning, I, I don't think uh, many people are aware of what we do, uh, why we do it, and uh, so this was not this was a wonderful opportunity for us to share. Mm -hmm. We thank you for for coming in and, uh, and being with thank us. Thank you. We we had the opportunity to see that bulletin board out there with all the various things that your print shop has turned out duplicating and it, mm -hmm. it just shows and I just didn't realize I've got one of those big posters at NCCS with all their sports schedule I didn't know it was made mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. a facility here I thought they had it printed outside you know like yeah. it, it's yeah. great I continued success to you here and uh, you I know you've been moving along and I if it's good for you fine but we hope you're here for many years in our area uh, I do too it's it's a good place to be I've really enjoyed it very good pleasure Thank you. Dr. James Frank. That's the way you see it right there on the poster. International Who's Two of Professional. James 
H. 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 You know, I my middle name is H, and they asked me what it is, and I told several people it's Hilda. And there's a young person in Champlain that calls me Hilda. He said, hi, Hilda, whenever I go by. <laughs> but he remembers me that way. And we hope that you'll remember us uh, next Sunday. You get back on and watch more of uh, what's going on here. And before that, even, if you haven't become a patron on Hometown Cable, to let Calvin know, and I appreciate hearing about it, that uh, you like what we're doing and you'd like to help to see that it continues, send a donation to Hometown Cable, 1477 Ridge Road, and say, I want to let people know that I follow this. I don't want to sound like a, a money raising. That's not why we're here. But uh, anyway, we'll be seeing you next Sunday. Thanks for your comments, your suggestions. And you don't have to ask us what's happening here. If you want to, you can come down and talk to Dr. Frank yourself, talk to uh, Mr. Brigman, or any of the people that yes. we've talked to. If you've got students out there and you think this is for them, this is the place to come. Champlain Valley Educational Services. I'm Bob Finn, Calvin Castine, James H. French.